I'm honored today to be uh, seated with my good friend and colleague, uh, Dr. Craig Oberg uh, of the Microbiology Department at Weber State University in Ogden, Utah. Uh, Craig and I have been friends and colleagues for many, many years, and we've had many, many long conversations about subjects that would tie our two disciplines together. Uh, Dr. Oberg has been at Weber State for uh, 32 years, uh, has a, uh, a PhD from uh, Utah State University and is a widely published scholar uh, and uh, widely recognized in his field as one of the top people uh, in, in the areas in which he works. And so uh, it's an honor for me to be able to uh, be with him and to put together this course on uh, disease and how it has affected history. Uh, so uh, we're, we're just excited to be able to do this. And I'm sitting here with Gene Sessions, uh, professor of history at Weber State University. Been here uh, just a tad under four decades. Gene's uh, widely renowned as a uh, Western historian, a historian of, uh, of uh, significance when it comes to publishing uh, books, his most famous probably. Uh, is on Jedediah Grant as an archetype of uh, what happened out here in the Western colonization. Gene's probably the most uh, popular professor on campus, or at least he has the biggest classroom because he has huge crowds whenever he teaches. Uh, and I have to confess that uh, Gene's had more of an impact on me than I've had on him because I, I, I have to admit I'm a closet historian. Always have been and always will be. I guess I'm out of the closet now and I've been uh, enamored with history and uh, we've had a lot of exchanges and I, you know, I have to get a few uh, digs in on him about the impact of microbiology and diseases and science on the history of the world and uh, that's where this course spawned. I took classes from Gene uh, as I was teaching here and uh, enjoyed him and one day uh, kind of received a challenge to uh, come up with a lecture about the impact of disease on history and uh, did that, had a lot of fun with the students, and that really uh, set this course in motion some years ago. And I might uh, correct him in just one place, and that is that uh, he uh, suggests that he became a, a historian after he'd become acquainted with me. I think he always has been. Uh, also, I believe that uh, as you engage in this course, you're going to discover that what he knows, his favorite quotation, by the way, in this area is microbes rule the world, that uh, there has been an enormous impact of microbiology when we study it in terms of how history has proceeded over the years. And I'm the one who has been the learner. I don't claim to have any kind of uh, depth of ability when it comes to science but I've always loved science, and so we found ourselves to be kind of in a symbiotic relationship here of uh, coming at this subject from, from our respective disciplines. So we think that uh, the combination of what we know and what we, we can quiz uh, about each other uh, is going to put a pretty good course together for you, and I think you'll be quite surprised, as I've been, as I've become uh, deeply involved with Craig in this subject, how powerful uh, disease and, uh, and microbes have been in in the course of history. Well, that's a uh, nice view you say all that, Gene. Uh, I think uh, this course we've designed to have a, a number of different modules. We've tried to uh, assemble each module so that uh, it uh, takes a look at a particular part of history, not so much a segment of time, but, a, but kind of an experience of history like religion, how religions grew or how people migrated or maybe the impact of disease on war and war strategy, and put each one of these modules together and assembled uh, a number of pieces in each module that we hope you'll uh, take the time to look around in. They'll be varied in their content and, and how they're delivered. We're going to try to uh, provide in each one of these modules some learning objectives so you know in advance uh, what it is you might expect to gain from that particular unit. We're going to introduce each uh, module with a, a video uh, in which the two of us talk a little bit about the subject of that particular module and perhaps uh, intrigue you a bit about what you might learn as you proceed down into the, into the module. And in combination with that, we hope to uh, have a number of uh, video vignettes, we call them, that uh, look at a very specific topic and uh, hopefully entice you to look at uh, what we have uh, made available as far as reading materials. 
There's a lot of literature out there on this. Uh, it uh, usually sits over in the side of science and not history. That's true. Most of the literature you'll discover uh, written by microbiologists, historians coming lately and sometimes never to the things that the microbiologists have known all along about this subject. Uh, we, we'll, we'll provide you with, uh, with some, uh, uh, as Craig mentioned, reading assignments. We'll also have some shorter, uh, we could call them video lectures, few minutes long uh, and we will provide you with essays for those uh, with all kinds of embedded uh, inter internet uh, sites so if you're listening to us and you say wow that's interesting you can look at the the uh, essay and uh, go to the internet and, and discover you'll be amazed the, the plethora of, of information that's out there on all of these subjects that we'll just touch on in the course yeah yeah I hope the tidal wave doesn't overwhelm yeah. you so in addition to that we're going to pick a specific disease to focus on in each module and uh, try to tie that in both historically and with what's happening in the in our current time period concerning that disease and and then you'll understand the disease a little more and maybe appreciate uh, what happened historically and the power of each disease along with that genes come up with something I think is really fun we're gonna have a history mystery for each of the modules kind of an open-ended question for which Craig and I and others in our fields may have some tentative answers, but in some cases, the debate's on uh, about this particular subject that we might throw out to you, and hopefully you'll become intrigued and maybe do a little research on your own. You may be the one to solve the mystery. So, And we'll also have a discussion facility in the course where you can uh, get on, involved with other people who are participating in the course to discuss uh, the mystery, uh, discuss anything else that's, that, that's in the course. We, we intend this to be uh, tiered so that you can get as deep as you would like to get, as deeply as you'd like to go, uh, and uh, satiate your curiosity and your 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 interest uh, as we uh, hope to peak it as we go along into the course. That's right. We have a, a number of other fun activities that we put in there for uh, your perusal, and uh, perhaps uh, uh, you might enjoy them. We're going to have uh, some vocabulary. You always need a vocabulary in science and certainly in history. Uh, we're going to have a little bit about uh, epidemiology and public health so that you understand, uh, for example, uh, how viruses work. We'll put that in one of the units so by the time you get done with all the units or modules, you hopefully will have a little appreciation for public health and, uh, and, and how diseases are transmitted, why organisms are pathogenic. That's a minor part, but hopefully kind of a fun part. And we'll build into each module an opportunity for you to test what you've learned. Uh, no grade, but a chance for you to to evaluate uh, how much of this is, uh, is, has has uh, sunk in, how much of this means something to you, what you've learned through the process of going through the module. We're going to have crossword puzzles uh, for you to do to help you with the vocabulary. Uh, we're going to try to make it as pleasant but yet as uh, stimulating and challenging as we can. Again, you can determine uh, how challenging you'd like it to be as you as you go through each module. We realize that maybe not every topic will uh, pique your interest, but I think if you look through the modules that we've supplied in this course, there'll be plenty of them in there that will uh, provide uh, some captivating, uh, I think, understanding that you haven't had before concerning history. So uh, look through the modules. Uh, you can start anywhere you want and uh, go for it, I say. Microbes rule, people drool. <laughs> we talked a little bit in the planning for this course about uh, having it traditionally, you start here and you walk through it step by step. Instead, we've designed it so, as Craig mentioned, you can jump anywhere you'd like. So as you look over the course, you can say, well, look, I'm most interested in warfare. I'm a military history person, and I'd like to know how much uh, uh, disease has influenced the course of warfare. Uh, you can jump in right there, do that module, and then pick another one to do uh, in the order that pleases you. We've, we've designed the course both for general interest uh, folks, but we also think that this will be a wonderful resource for teachers. Uh, I'm thinking, because I'm a historian, that uh, history teachers are going to be delighted with the material that we've uh, put into the course, because there'll be lots of visual material, there'll be lots of ideas and, and uh, concepts that uh, teachers may not have encountered before, but uh, certainly on the science side, uh, 
Yeah, we hope to put enough science in there to make it interesting for uh, teachers who teach in the health area, public health, uh, basic biology, uh, junior high, high school, even beyond that, I think you'll find a few things in there at least that are fun and valuable. And you'll discover in the modules, uh, not a lot of this, but we will uh, have some uh, aspects of the module specifically for teachers. doesn't mean that if you're not a teacher, you can't participate in those as well, but we will have some things that we think will be particularly useful for teachers in each module. One of the things we'd like your help with is to help us make the course better and better as it goes along. It's developing as we, as we uh, speak now and as you watch this video. So give us your feedback. Let us know what you discover. We think we've done a fair job of anticipating what those things will be, but uh, don't hesitate to let us know. And we'll have facilities in the course for you to do that. And the other thing I want to remind you about is, uh, yeah, we'd like to engage with you all the time, but we also have other jobs we need to do and classes we need to teach. So uh, we hope to jump in periodically in the discussion group. We're going to monitor and see how things go, maybe facilitate a discussion once in a while. But we've designed this course so that you can have a robust experience without us being there and that you can interact with other participants. And I think that's one of the real values is that you'll be able to, to have some fun with people like-minded in that area. Craig, how would you, as you think about our course, uh, advise uh, participants to deal with it? Well, I think they take uh, this introductory module, look through it, get an idea about what's gonna be found in each unit, uh, what's available to you. And then uh, use the links after you've gone through this introductory module to uh, jump into any unit you want. And you'll know uh, in that unit, uh, based on reading through this introductory module, which I think is a lot like a normal course syllabus, uh, what, where you want to go, where you want to start, what might interest you. So uh, it's all in there. And in that connection, don't be nervous when you see the breadth of this. It's big. But uh, again, we've designed it so you can figure out yeah. how how much you want to do. Yeah, it's a history of the world with a microbes point of view. <laughs> Hope you have a good time.